Jiggy Cat on a damn fitness spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 rounds strong and be hanging like a centipede. Hello, everyone. This is Nagato's Revenge, and welcome back to my channel. For today, I have something a little different from what I usually do. I usually, you know, talk about and teach you guys a lot of PlayStation stuff, but today I have an Android tutorial, and in this video, I'll be showcasing on how to install RetroArch for your Android device. With that being said, as well, please be sure to follow my social media so you know the latest hacking guides and tutorials from my channel. And as well, if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form, feel free to donate. I'll have a PayPal link either in the link in the description below, or you could just look right now and type that link in the url it's purely optional but uh with that being said we'll go ahead and get started on the things you'll learn in this video so in this video i'll be teaching you on how to successfully install retroarch on your android device how to add some classic games such as like you know super nintendo games SNES or you know nes sega genesis and stuff like that and also how to add cores aka the emulators for retroarch if you guys ever use retroarch you know on a windows pc on your vita ps3 stuff like that i'll teach you guys on how to do that for the android and it's relatively uh pretty easy as well so some of the prerequisites of what you need for this video is in any android device such as a tablet or phone uh, any set of games that corresponds with your emulator or core so if you're gonna you know want to install nes games go ahead and get you know the nes core installed and also as well you need a usb cable and a pc but with that being said as well i just want to give a special thanks out to lib retro for you know making you know retro arc for all of us to play and i just want to give a big shout out and to all my supporters who watch my videos on a daily basis with that being said we could go ahead and get into this video Alright big guys, so assuming that you did follow all of the prerequisites as shown into the intro, we could go ahead and get started on the actual tutorial. So as shown here, I have my Android device mirrored to my screen. I'm using my cell phone, but all you we need to do first, if you do have, you know, of course an Android device, um, we need to go into the Google Play Store and we need to type in RetroArch. So it's very simple, it's just like installing any other app on your phone like you know Instagram Twitter and stuff like that but once you have that uh, downloading in the background you could go ahead and get your ROMs prepped wherever to your desktop as shown here so in this case I have my Super Mario uh, World game from the Super Nintendo which is one of the emulators or slash cores that you can install with the latest version of RetroArch I think as stated here it's the 1.7.7 version but it shouldn't take too long for it to install right here so once uh, RetroArch installs onto your Android device, whether it be a tablet or phone, we could go ahead and open it up. And since it's your first time, you will need to grant uh, access to read an external storage and also the right external storage on your phone and device go ahead and hit allow because it needs to search for its games and as shown here what it's doing right now is just saying welcome to retro arc is extracting all of its assets such as the thumbnails and stuff like that but it's very a uh, simple ui for the phone y'all guys may already know or recognize some of the things like load core and lower uh, excuse me load content if you mess with this on the Vita or you know ps3 and something like that or the pc but the first thing what we need to do is go ahead and load core and since we are doing this for the first time, none of our cores are here, or AKA our emulators. What we need to do is go ahead and hit download a core. And as shown here, there are a ton of cores for your favorite arcade and classic games. So you can just go ahead and scroll through the list and see which ones you want. In this case, I wanna go ahead and install the PSP Lib Retro Core to play PlayStation Portable games. I'm gonna also install the PlayStation uh, Rearm games as well. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and scroll through the list since I'm trying to find the Super Nintendo one so I'm gonna use the SNES uh, 2010 one and I'm just gonna download another one just in case if that one's uh, emulation doesn't work too well but I noticed with the SNES uh, 2010 one it runs better than the 2005 uh, version of the core but once you got all your cores downloaded for whatever uh, titles you have we go ahead and back out of RetroArch and what we need to do now is go ahead and transfer our files over from our Android device to our PC or I should say the PC to our Android device So what I'm gonna do now you won't see it on the screen since I'm gonna have to disconnect for a second I'm gonna have to do a file transfer from here You guys don't have to do this step since I was just um streaming my phone But what we need to do now is go ahead to our um, Windows tab right here or if you on OS just go ahead and search your phone 
what I'm gonna do now is open up File Explorer as shown here. And then here's my cell phone device. What we need to do is go into external, excuse me, internal storage, scroll all the way down to retro arc. And from here, what we need to do is go into retro arc underscore ROMs. So as shown here, I already made some uh, pre-made folders via within this uh, folder right here. But all you would need to do is go ahead, if you want to be more organized, let's say if you want to add all your Sega Genesis ROMs, go ahead and just create a new folder and just label it as this. So for example, if I decide to put PlayStation Portable games, I'm going to go ahead and put all my PSP uh, games in here. But what I'm going to do now is go to my SNES. And since I already copied over my Super Mario World file, what I'm going to do is just, you know, show you guys how to do that it will just drag and drop from here but I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel since I already had that uh, installed but what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and pause the video get my uh, Android loading back on the screen so you guys I can show you guys on how to play you know your classic games via what retro arc that way a few moments later all right guys so as shown here what we need to do is go ahead back into RetroArch right now and what we need to do is go ahead and try to play our game so the first thing what we need to do is go into load content then from here we're going to go into storage slash emulator zero android go from parent directory parent directory again do that one more time or a couple of more times until you see your regular directory on your cell phone so as shown here we need to go ahead and find RetroArch and then from here, we need to go and find our folder that we made called RetroArc underscore ROMs. And then wherever you put our ROMs at, or wherever you put your ROMs at, in my case, I put my SNES ROMs right here since this is for my Super Nintendo games. What we need to do now is go ahead and run it just like any other thing. And since we install our core, I'm gonna go ahead and put the 2010 uh, SNES core. And now as shown here in a few seconds, um, basically you should see um, the game running in real time so yep that's essentially how you play super mario world in your android tablet or you know your android phone device and this is pretty cool if you don't have like a switch or you know a vita and you want to play some classic games on the go uh but with that being said as well my name is nagato and i'm signing out thank you guys for watching